Let's flow through the waves of life with Raleigh Vlogs. Hiya, people! And today on Raleigh Vlogs, uh, I am going to take you to a place that I have been to before with you guys. Uh, if you remember, I think it was back in episode 8 eight or nine I want to say uh, about a few year and a half to two years ago I was I did an episode where I took you guys to the mall here in Arcadia and I'm going to take you back to that mall because some things have changed I would like to point out and I would like to show you a little bit more than I didn't uh, more of what I didn't show you at that mall um, when I was last there so you ready no seriously you ready here we go! Ah! Okay, here we are. First, we are going up the escalator to the second floor of the mall. We are going to visit the AMC Theater. They have two things up here. It's the AMC Theater and Dave and & Buster's. Um, I'm not exactly sure what really Dave & Buster's is. I've never really been there, but here is the AMC Theater. Yes, I remember one time I actually applied here, but I did not get accepted to a position here. Let's take a look at all of their movies that they got coming up and playing right now and everything like that. And apparently now they even have uh, these automated ticket um, machine things where you can get your tickets right there. Uh, where is the... Oh, ah, uh, yes, yes. There's the original ticket booth that's moved over there now. And here, let's see if we can peek in through these windows here of the uh, movie theater. And down here, down here is the eatery. They have a lot of things down there, a lot of uh, restaurants and everything come and go. And obviously, we are here at the mall today on during introverts time. What I mean by that is not a lot of people go to the mall during the week in the afternoon slash morning. Or, uh, whatever time it is right now, I don't know. But there's this place right here. It used to be a few years ago. It used to be a wiener schnitzel. Now it's a... Uh, Bibgo type place. I'm sorry if I'm not getting the name right, but it has been uh, uh, Wiener Schnitzel left and it is now something else. And here is a whole bunch of other things. This business on the corner here used to be at Jersey Mike's, but now it's a place called Marion Crate. And now down over here we have this area of the eatery. We got the Philly steaks, we got Chipotle, we've got Sabaros, we've got this place called Chicken Now. And as I walk through these people here, we're gonna go to this awesome 50s diner, 50s style type of diner, it's a burger joint called Johnny Rockets. And of course, right in uh, okay, there's some. Uh, there's an escalator going up to a parking structure over there. We have Spencer's, we have uh, Hollister, we have a whole bunch of different kiosks, t-shirts and everything. One of my favorite stores is Spencer's right there. Now you will see we are coming up upon another store. It used to be like, a, like an anime type of uh, place, but oh, we got cinema on there. But it used to be this, an, uh, the, the, this anime type of place, but now it's a place called Hollywood Baby. There we go, right there. 
And of course, we got the delicious Dippin' Dots over there, as well as many, many, many different stores over here. We have a technology repair shop. Oh. And here are all of my wives. Yes, I have many, 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 many different wives. Um, let's just say they keep me pretty, pretty busy. However, these wives are not for anyone, not even myself, to touch. They even have a sign saying, don't touch. What? Can't touch my wife? LOL, I'm a dog. I know. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, and right here, there is, of course, a Hello Kitty Cafe brought to you by the company Sanrio. This place was really, really, really packed with people. It was really amazing when it first opened, but now it never really gets very many people, sadly. And let us not forget some of the breathtaking views we have. If you go up to the second floor, over by some of the promenades and the theater and everything like that, you have all of these amazing views of people walking about down below, the parking structure, the uh, restaurants, the stores, and of course, let's not forget Paris Baguette, one of the greatest bakeries of all time. And, of course, the mountains and the trees off in the distance. And as I take you back to the eatery for one more little interesting find I found, there was once this place called Sports Chalet, then for a while it was a Q-Love women's clothing store, and now, apparently, it just might very well be turned into a bowling alley sometime soon. And I'll check in more on that later on, back in the fall, or not till the fall of 2018. Hmm, tea. Should I get that? Eh, and maybe. there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the mall again, the Westfield Santa Anita Mall in Arcadia, California. Yes, um, like I've said, um, several things have changed. That's a common thing with malls, but you know, it's always good to check out the mall every once in a while. Um, this concludes the sixth season, by the way, of... Um, Rally vlogs. <laughs> anyway, um, this, uh, like I said, concludes the season, and we will be moving on with season seven pretty soon. New intro, new ways, and new stuff to see, and new everything. All right, um, have a good day. Bye bye.